What is up guys, it's Awana Turtle. Today we're doing another Yu-Gi-Oh opening. We're opening up another one of these boxes of dual power. It's been a while since we opened one, so we're gonna fix that. Uh, I feel like the initial hype is kind of dying down with Dark Neo Storm, but we're still looking for our first infinite impermanent, so we'll see if we can't break that uh, streak today. Let's get into it. All right, more dual power. Still really enjoying this set, although at this point, <laughs> the, the, actually the promos are fine. The playmats, like, all right. I think I like the tins better after a while. the The playmat is cool for the first two boxes, and then it's just like, oh, this feels like a waste at this point. So we did uh, put some pre-orders in for the 2019 Mega Tins. So I'll be able to open those when they come out, and I think. I think I like the kind of like three packs versus six is nice, but um, how there's only five cards in it. So let's get into this. Not going to go through the promos. We'll open those a bunch of times already. And let's see what we got. So for our first pack, we have a Magic Gate of Miracles. Don't think this is a very good one, but I think this might be our first one of those. Backup Supervisor. Stardust Wish. Not the trap we're looking for. And then Arrow Mage Rosemary. Divine Serpent Geh. Okay, let's see. We got a Beat Cop from the Underworld. Eternal Soul. Dark Magical Circle. A Clip Heart. Clipboard Genius, and then Mark of the Rose. Hmm, that one feels kind of weak. I think that came in, um, it's like a common in some other set. All right, let's go with pack number three. As always, guys, if you do enjoy this content, definitely hit that like button down below. It does help support the channel. Ooh, wow, look at how warped this is. That's pretty bad. All right, let's see. We got a Silver Gadget, Necroz Kaleidoscope, Star Seraph Scepter, not sure, really sure what I'm looking at here. And then a Cybers Enchanter. Okay, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. All hand traps are very welcome. Not the strongest one. All right, this warp is not as bad. We got a Platinum. Wow, look how misprint that is. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll make this like the thumbnail. That's wildly misprinted. Predator Plant. And then compared to uh, like other card games, like it's interesting that it's kind of random and it doesn't seem to affect any other cards. So not a no good cards from that set, but a pretty interesting uh, miscut. All right, we're down to two packs left. We only got one weak hand trap, so we definitely definitely need to step it up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it seems to happen for all the first cards or oh it's like the links maybe that's from its own sheet dark magician girl and then red hot dragon archfiend let's just see if there's any no no not as bad as in the other ones so all right all we have to show is some miscut cards that's pretty bad all right last pack last pack let's get some last pack magic Ooh, magician chaos all right first one of these another archfiend bane a Harpy Dancer, Heretic Dragon of Ar I Adam, and then, oh man, very weak, very weak box. Um, but we did get, uh, yeah, I don't, these probably aren't worth too much, but it's very interesting. Actually, I wonder if it's like, how is it like that? So, um, kind of a weird opening. Ooh, that looks, uh, maybe this is it. <laughs> so, kind of cool, we got some miscut cards, um, but... Not the pulls we're looking for, but you know, we'll give it another try in a little bit. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Definitely uh, like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below uh, what are your thoughts on the miscut card. Did you ever see this? Is this, do you think this is worth anything? Uh, let me know down below. Unlike, guys, I'm a wanted turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.